Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Um, something I wanted to uh, mention to you all last night after I got a message on Facebook from a young man, 13, almost 14 years old. Uh, this young man was scared to death because of all the stuff he's seeing online about, uh, you know, 2012, end of the world, all this type of stuff. Um, and it really made me feel torn. Uh, because of his age, I didn't know if I should even speak to him, first of all. But when someone reaches out to me, especially a child who needs information or, or just an ear, um, I won't refuse them. So it was real tough to converse with him, um, obviously, because I, I didn't want to overwhelm him with everything I knew. And I tried to reassure him that I don't believe it's the end of the world. Uh, but I'm not going to lie to the young man. I do think that we're going to see some major earth changes. And I advised him to uh, have the mindset that in a moment's notice he may have to, um, you know, live like he we did a hundred years ago and and I advised him to talk to his parents and his response is what really uh, just really bothered me um, he said that his parents he did try to talk to his parents and that they said you know the end of the world stuff is all bullshit and they gave him no further explanation um, I went through his uh, contacts and tried to message his mother to ask her to speak, but because Facebook likes to censor me, um, I'm not able to message anybody right now unless they're in my contacts. Um, so anyway, uh, if you're a parent, no matter what you believe, you need to sit down and have a talk with your children. You know, and as far as parents allowing their 13-year-olds to even be on Facebook, I, I don't allow my kids to be on Facebook. It's too insecure. Um, there's no way to really monitor them. I mean, y you can do some things, but you're not going to stop them. And, uh, you know, I, I was quite saddened that a 13-year-old boy would be able to uh, reach out to me um, I can just imagine what else he can come into contact with on Facebook. And uh, I really wish I could contact his parents. Now, obviously, I'm not going to release his name. Um, that would be ignorant. And uh, I surely hope that it's not just a sock puppet account, um, you know, trying to set me up for conversing with a child. So, um, it, you know, it, it was a tough call. Uh, but I'm not going to uh, turn anybody away if they ask me for information because um, that's what I'm here for as far as I'm concerned to try to wake up as many people as I can and I'm not going to lie to you um, but with our children it's a little different um, you can't just overwhelm them with everything you know and you certainly can't push them aside and tell them it's all bullshit when you don't believe something um, if your child raises this type of question and that's your first response, ah, oh, that's all bullshit, the first thing you better do is sit down and do some research and, and have a conversation with them, even if you have to say, I don't know, and, and make a commitment to them that you will do some research. It's your responsibility to educate and inform your children. And, and I'm disgusted that a 13-year-old young man has no one to turn to that he has to turn to a complete stranger on Facebook and ask them if he should prepare to die anyway uh, I hope that's a little bit of a wake up call to any of your parents there's a lot of things I talk to my kids about that uh, most people wouldn't even consider but this is our job this is our duty and because of uh, everything that goes on and you know life uh, the fluoride, the uh, overwhelming uh, need to uh, keep going and succeed, and, and all this shit. Uh, we don't have time to do the research, and we're leaving our kids unattended too long, and we've uh, kind of gotten the routine that it's uh, the public schools that need to educate them, but that's not the case. That's not the case at all. If, if you've had a child, then you've also been given a responsibility to inform them, protect them, and uh, 
anyway that's that's about all um, but watch out for your kids and uh, if you're smart you'll you'll get them off Facebook and you'll get them off the other social networks and you'll explain to them why okay uh, you've put them into an adult world and like in the case of this man they very well could be overwhelmed and go through their days thinking that they're going to die with no real proof of it but overwhelming evidence that they might and when they reach out to you you better take the time to sit down and talk to them anyway uh, if the young man that reached out to me sees this uh, thank you for putting your trust in me and again go back to your parents and insist that they have a conversation with you um, and don't fear make some preparations learn everything you can and uh, what was amazing about this young man is that um, when I looked at his Facebook wall he had a lot of posts that made me believe that uh, he may be a Christian uh, he has a strong faith in God and I was really surprised that he had that much fear because uh, those of us that really believe in God uh, don't have any fear at all so again to the parents of that young man have a conversation if you don't have any information get some much love many thanks and I'll see you soon